Hi everyone, I'm Carl with Talisman Guitars and today I've got a quick video showing you how I built the top for my great guitar build off 2021 build. So let's get straight into it. I uh, started out with a sycamore branch which I got from the forest nearby and I had dried for quite a while now um, and as I'll show here I went and chopped that into small slices just like this one. So from there I took those pieces and I sanded them and tried to get them about as even in thickness and dimensions as I could um, with what I had. So I had considered um, either trying to use a router sled or running through a thicknesser or something to try and get them more consistent in thickness but being such small pieces that was quite challenging especially with so many of them. So I thought I'd just go ahead and uh, see how it worked out. So I thought I'd just go ahead with my plan. And as the design sides come together, I worked out that I need around 50 pieces. So as you can imagine, it took a little while. But after they were all sanded, they were ready for staining. So I started out with a sort of dark teal color. And then as that, as I got a color I was happy with there, I um, sanded those back just gently and started applying uh, sort of more light blue and green colors. Once I was happy with that, how that all looked, I, um, I took that to the form that I made, just using scrap and plywood, and I used parcel tape to seal everything. Um, and then I started mixing resin and pouring it straight in. I also used um, a bunch of sawdust to help the pieces of wood stay in place as I poured the resin and just to sort of fill those gaps to reduce the amount of resin I'd hopefully need to use. Um, but yeah, you can see how that came together here. I messed around with all sorts of different colors um, using different dyes and mica powder. Um, and I was just pouring, you know, as you can see a small amount at a time I'm slowly building up the layers and hoping that this would give me quite a unique look once I cut into it later down the line. So I got to this stage and I realized I'd applied, I'd used so much resin and I, I wanted to level it out. Um, so I took the electric planer and just took uh, a small amount off the top to try and give me a more flat surface to work with and then I started to flood that with clear resin. I was pretty excited about that but um, the piece was just way too thick to have any practical use for my guitar and I had to go and split that down the middle as you can see here which was tedious and challenging but worked out in the end um, and the result was pretty cool. What else did I do? <laughs> I don't even remember. <laughs> it's been too long. And then stuck it to the body. So to stick it to the body, I wasn't sure whether I'd use glue or another layer of resin. And in the end, I decided that resin would be better if I could pull it off right. So I went to attach it and realized I'd forgotten to make a channel for the, um, for the wiring. So I actually took it off, went and did that, and then joined it up. So after routing a channel for the pickup wiring to go through in the body, I poured a bunch of resin onto the top and then clamped the body to that. And the results are actually pretty good as far as I, I can tell. I mean, there were no gaps or anything. And um, yeah, I was really pleased with how it all came together. So yeah, I think if I were to do this sort of design in, again in future, 
I would definitely find a way to get the pieces much more consistent because because my pieces were so thick the angle made it really awkward to get a nice top layer that wasn't too thick um, so what I would consider in future it's really hard to say I mean I've considered that maybe it would be cool to finely shape every single individual piece beforehand uh, and start it all together. I've also considered it might be easier building it directly onto the bodywood rather than in its own form. Um, but yeah, this is a sort of step away from a traditional hybrid resin top where you have a thin piece of burl or something cool. Um, which is then just flooded with epoxy and you call it a day from there. Um, I've really invested a lot of experimentation into this and I think the 3D effect on its own it gives it the value and it makes that effort worthwhile. But um, I would definitely approach things a little bit differently in the future just to save some trouble and hassle. I mean, I spent way too long on this. So I was actually hoping to make a video today for um, showing off the neck for this build. However, the glue I was using was no good. So I've kind of been held back on all of that. Um, and I do have a lot of bits and pieces and footage to show off. However, I'm aiming to do a nice big video soon showing off the entire neck build um, and a lot of my sort of decision making process along that way so um, yeah stick around I have plenty more plenty more to come a lot more until this build is finished um, and hit subscribe comment let me know what you think I, um, I faced all sorts of trials with this and I have to feel like somehow it's worth it. So um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.